All right, they dazzle crowds with jaw-dropping flips and turns, but cheerleading is now turning heads for a much different reason. The Netflix documentary Cheer is reigniting talks about injuries, especially when it comes to concussions in the sport. Team 12's Jen Wall shows us the high risks cheerleaders now face. What people don't often recognize is that cheer is a serious sport. This high energy, high impact sport is jam packed with stunts, tumbling and eye catching dance routines. Most people don't understand how physically it is demanding. Yeah, that sometimes come at a price when it comes to catastrophic injuries, neck injuries, brain injuries. They have more than all girls sports combined. A recent American Association of Pediatrics study shows high school cheerleaders have the second highest rate of concussions in practice only behind football. I got hit twice. I thought it was fine. And then the next day I got kicked in the head and I was like, oh, this is not right. Cheerleader Ella Johnston says she got a concussion while cheerleading when she was in junior high. I'm usually a super perky and happy person and I was just tired and just don't want to do anything. Ella says it took her a couple of months to feel back to normal. All symptoms from an injury, Dr. Javier Cardenas says competitive cheerleaders are at a higher risk for. What's critically important is during this recovery phase that the athlete does not sustain another head injury. Dr. Cardenas says there are a lot of safety precautions cheer squads should follow, including being educated about concussion signs, practicing on mats, having medical trainers nearby, and more. Most of my friends have had some injuries like concussions and like torn shoulders, so we all just talk about it and we just relieve the stress. Risks Ella knows are real in her sport, taking them seriously to make sure her entire team stays safe both in and out of competition. Jen Wall, 12 News.